And I have confidence that the next constitutional amendment will strip this public officials of this, this immunity. And I am personally in support of that. So one of the measures we are going to take already, apart from the work anti-corruption agencies, is to help corruption monitors. This is an instrument that we create would help people train monitors attached to public officials. We are going to begin first with the president, the vice president, <coughs> the ministers in the cabinet, the state governors, so that these monitors will be trained in the art of investigation. Today, we remember a significant event that took place on this day in history, May 5th, 2010. Nigeria was thrown into mourning following the death of President Umaru Musa Yaradwa. Yaradwa died at the Asorok Presidential Villa after months of treatment in Saudi Arabia. The Vice President Goodluck Jonathan later succeeded him as President after his death. The following day, May 6th, an Islamic burial was held for the late president in his hometown in Katsina. Thousands of people, including dignitaries and political leaders, attended the ceremony to pay their last respects. Yaradwa's death marked a turning point in Nigeria's political history. His presidency was marked by efforts to tackle corruption, promote national unity, and improve the country's economy. His death was a great loss to the nation. 13 years after his death, Yaradwa is still remembered as a man of integrity, humility, and vision. Mm -hmm.